Hi right, guys, this episode's called Cena Ran Away. <laughs> oh, but she's going to be wandering through the episode. So this is the part that's very hard for people to understand. And that's why people start in with, I use the stem and this, that, and the other. I, I can't deal with them. Because it really is falling somehow under the laws of motion. These things are not completely in control. If you said they're completely in control of their motion and all that, no, they're not. They'll take off without even thinking. You know, and if you said, well, what can you do? Exploit that. Is the be you know, the best thing you can do is exploit that. You know, if that's what they do, and that is what they do. They're not making calculated decisions about everything. Yeah, they are in some cases. They're developing to compulsions or whatever, but... Uh, You've part, I understand that part of you have, has got to understand the laws of motion and how that, and, and just, you know, like driving a car, part of you has to be able to understand that if you're going to be able to turn the dog and all that, you're going to be physically turning it with the collar. That's what people don't understand. You're not going to be using the collar to say, bad dog, you didn't come. Ah, now you'll listen. It's... That's why people don't understand. The people that use the low-level STEM method, as they call it, aren't doing it right at all because it was ideally designed to push or pull the dog or do these various things to be, to drive the dog. Oh, he's a puncher. Uh, what's something that punches? I should change his name from Kanga. Anyway, but he's got the default down, but he's very bossy. He's very bossy, and he's got a lot more drive than the other one. So he heals and all that same thing, though. I've got my thing on zero, and this is the weaker page. Or if you said, explain to me when you're doing it concurrent with everything I say, you know, or every move I make, you know. It's just that, you know, do people honestly think I can control all these dogs? that concisely just with my voice stop it you know that's what gets me all right so this one's got the same thing if i if i make my hand like i'm going back over there he's going to be up there he's looking for a dog in training <laughs> Yay! so he was just like in midair he went that way and i pushed him with the pager Yay! all right look so i want to be able to mirror him to mirror my movements He's, he's a lot better than the other one. You know, I just, I want to be able to say the dog understands micro adjustments because I may not get it right the first time and we may have to do these things. You know, it's, it is kind of like driving. I would always fail on the three point turn, but it was because we lived in Utah and it was so hilly. I was afraid. I'm not, I wasn't gutsy like I am now. I was scared. The roads were slippery. He's wondering what this other platform is. With him, you could probably... You could probably teach him a remote sit on there pretty quick. Alright, so he's supposed to leap off of there, but I like the two cones right there just for... but I'm just, again, if I'm stepping this way, I'm doing it. If I'm stepping this way, I'm doing it. He's just thinking to himself, this thing is very, you can tell exactly what this thing wants. He usually leaps off of there. Oh, I know. If I get him going and then, yay! It would just be really hard, I think, to get that kind of movement without the platform. All right, so I've got my two cones. I'm going to factor this out with 
because he wonders why it's there, but he doesn't. Neither one of us knows why it's there, so I'm just going to it. He's probably going to come around and be facing that way. Yeah, well, so much for the cones. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And that is a downs. I will tell you, that is a, you will get dogs that routinely get more than one of them. And I forgot, Jeanette told me that Bear Bear used to do that all the time. Clearly it's something with my methodology. All right, there's my cones. So I bent him back my way. All right, and then he'll go get the basket. You precious, precious boy. You know, that's just what you're thinking. If you can get that pager to happen when they're moving, you're kind of loading it up. Can you it's, it's hard to explain. But if you said, well, what, what, how could you prove that it was, because you could get, you could put another handler behind the wheel and give them the pager and they'd be able to cop that air and everything. You know, that's why the dog would probably, you know, you'd have to be careful. The thing didn't jump all up on you, but you would be able to, you would be able to put another driver behind the wheel of this dog real quick. You know, if you had a training director operating the pager and be able to get them to work it right at that same level. That's the difference. Even if they, you know, it would make up for their, eh, let's just say possible weak handling skills. You know, because if people think people are good handlers, that hasn't been my experience. I can count on both hands the people that I've known. You know, Joshua and Jessica, they're good. My friend Mark, the surgeon, he's good. But he's good at everything. Um, but a few people, but most people are just, you know, what we like to call in the world of professional dog training. They're awful. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. <laughs>